Oh my god, who said that? Who, it's an old it's an old like Vietnam sniper thing, I think. Oh god. I remember playing hide and seek with you too. In the tutorial. I don't know why it's so much fun to hide from her. Here. This was at the edge of the river in the mud. I put it under my pillow for good luck, but it gave me bad dreams. Uh oh. You can have it as a present. I suppose I'll do my lessons now. Hiding gets boring after a while anyway. There's some garbage I found on the river. <laughs> Ooh, another room. Nice. Now, remember what happened to other people who were, like, living in, like, rooms that had runes just lying around? It tended to go badly for them. Yeah. So, probably good thing she got rid of that. I have quite a stockpile now. Seven runes to use. Nice. Bloodthirsty is kind of fun, although I never really used it as much as I wished. Hmm. Why are those uh, the swarms? The vitality. Position. Uh, bloodthirst. Level 2 Bloodthirsty only costs 3 runes, so it's mm. not a big investment. Mr. Corvo, can rats talk? I keep hearing them say my name. Ugh. Pretty sure she doesn't say that in low chaos. I'll never have you know? to live in a place like this again. <laughs> the rats the speaking river to her. The higher and higher, Ooh. and we all climbed up to the top floor of the house into your room, but then the water turned into rats. <laughs> I never have good dreams here. Yeah, again, this is like Do a chaos. Do you think there's thing. any treasure buried under here? I dug a hole once, but all I found was old bones. I made a list nice. of all the swear words the Admiral uses, but Calista made me throw it away. Calista, Calista how's she gonna learn? Sleep sometimes, but it's hard to tell what she's saying. So in a way, what what study she's interested in? Do they make you clean your own room? I have to. What are the principal islands in the Empire? Uh, Circinos, Gristol. Oh, is that how you pronounce it? Tivia and. Yes. Morally. And which one is the biggest? Crystal. And it's the best one, too. And everything's bigger in Crystal. That one's a trick. No one knows. Not even Piero. Excuse us, Corvo. I'm afraid you're a little distracting for the girl. In no, your hellish in your hellish yeah. assassin's death mask. Perhaps she can inventory our whiskey supplies. Hey, good. Just think. Teach the girl a trade. Our future Empress has a bar for a schoolhouse. As you can see, Lady Emily has quite an imagination. Any child would grow a little odd in a place like this. Poor Samuel's just trying to have enjoy his beer over there. We're talking about rat swarms and our future yeah, empress being a barfly. All right, now it's Corvo. The time has come. Everything we have done, everything that you have done, has served to make this moment possible. The Lord Regent is exposed, Corvo. Vulnerable. And now everything is in place to strike at him. But one step from He's exposed? Him. One man, one beating heart, is all... Well, all his followers have been brought down. Brought his, his big supporters, you know, the Pendletons, the It Boyles. is simple, but it will be far from easy. The Lord Regent's paranoia has reached an all-time high. He has lost the support of the Overseers, the Parliament, his financial base, and he's lost Sokolov, who made his security technology. So at Dunwall Tower, he has consolidated every remaining loyal man around him. He knows something is coming. He knows you are coming. And everything depends on him being correct. Piero will help you prepare. Then Samuel will take you close to the tower, near the waterlock. Last time you were there was the horrible day that all of this started. Now you will go there and end it. Good luck, Corvo. I'm not sure what else we could say, other than our hopes are riding on you. You are required to cooperate with overseers 
as you would members of the city watch and elite guard. They speak well, we have our mission. Regent's authority. Didn't you just get back? You didn't even get to sleep. I know. The, I, the time frame in this game is kind of compressed, you know. Very strange it was, too. I mean, realistically, you know, it would take more time for very, some of these, like, political machinations to play out, like, you know, once you've killed the Boyles. I mean, not, or the Pendletons. Seriously. I don't know, it, 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 it probably makes more sense if you think of this as actually happening over, like, you know, weeks or months. It wouldn't take more than, like, a scene transition. Yeah, that probably would have been a good idea. Yeah. Woo! Politics moves really, really fast in the Empire, is the thing. Ready to face the Lord Regent? About time we took care of my say. Long past time. And we're off. And I, I confirm, you're right, for, you can in fact zoom in without your mask yes. when you're in the Hound's so, Pub. So clearly he's not done anything to the optics of the mask, he's just replaced your eyeballs. Exactly. This is it, Corvo. Your last memories of Dunwall Tower might Love not that be movie. good ones, huh? So maybe you could make up for what happened back then. It'll be a bit of a climb from the water lot. Most important thing is killing the Lord Regent. Remember, remember how we got, remember this is where we sailed to the very intro of the game. Mm -hmm. On our return from our tour of the other Isles of the Empire. Crazy if you ask me. Another point of interest while I'm giving you a grand tour, Corvo. Broadcast control station here where all them announcements come from. Might be worth looking into. How do you know that? Ready? Next time I see you, the Lord Regent will be dead. And if not, well, it was an honor to serve with you. I doubt, well, I doubt the, the location of that I doubt it's like a closely kept secret or anything. No, but like how would he know it's at all relevant? Oh. You don't, I don't even know. know why it's relevant yet. Well so some some someone's gotta give you the hints about the non lethal resolution of the mission, Nick. Yeah. I guess. Although actually in this case, this is like the of the various non lethal mission resolutions, this is the one that actually makes the most sense. Yeah. They all kind of make sense, it's just... ...full sense. Yeah. Last time here, this, you know, the water lock, you know, raised the water level and carried us up, but... ...no such luck this time. I know that's how it works with boats, but like... If the plague were to take the entire It would work the same if you were just swimming, right? Yeah, I assume so. You could just ride it up. Fall. The Lord Regent resides here, as do those who await their turn with the execution. You'd have to tread water for a while, but... Though their apartments differ. He walks the floor, careful to touch each stone only once, counting. He cannot purge his mind of the thoughts. Dunwall Tower is not so tall that it can rise above the stench of death. We have both been here before. When the last Leviathan is gone... What a difference bloom lighting can make. <laughs> if the plague were to take the entire city, or flames consume it, Dunwall Tower would be the last to fall. Now we're sneaking in through the... through the machinery, basically, so... You, th that will kill you. It's not traveling that fast, is it? Well, if you get caught in the gear, it'll crush you, though. Right. But, yeah, you can get through it by just teleporting at the right moment. Uh-oh. Hey there, guys. Don't, uh... Don't mind me. No need to swarm onto me like a mob of furry piranhas or anything. <laughs> yeah, 
lot of rats. Got company. There's a body over there on the other side. Okay, now they're talking about here the Lord Regent, you know, his safe room? Yeah. This is a difference between high and low chaos. Oh, is that a spine? That looks like it. Ugh. Okay, I was gonna say, if you're playing in low chaos, then when you first break in, he's actually in just his regular chambers. And if you cause an alarm, then he will flee to his safe house at the top of the tower. But if, you, if you're able to sneak in without causing an alarm, you can take him out just in his room, and it's not nearly as well guarded. In high chaos, his paranoia has reached the point where he's already in his tower from the ver in his safe house in the tower from the very beginning. So you have to follow him all the way up there. Need that in the beginning you get to just sort of ride, you know, you get you ride up in the water lock, and when you come back, you get to sort of see the guts of it. <laughs> uh oh, those things. Remember what those things do to you. Well, the, now, since I have the upgraded dark vision, I can see where its power supply and control panel are. Maybe I can use that. But how to get past it? I'm not, I'm not a brilliant uh, engineer like Sokolov, but, you know, it would make sense to me to put the reprogramming and power source... Well, ah, here's how we get past. Slow that. time, What's and that? blink, and I'm across. I mean, just wouldn't that make sense to you? Keep the control panel further away? But keep it right underneath the thing that will shock anybody who's not supposed to be there. That would make more sense, yeah. Whoops. Oh, I see now I've got cover. Now you can, again, you can either disable it by just taking out the fuel supply, or if you got the rewire tool and you don't mind killing a bunch of dudes, the arc pylon will now harm enemies instead of you. Always one of the most fun ways to take out guys to me. Spiritual remedy. Yes. So is he is he selling those? Piero? Yeah. Well, he invented it. I'm not sure, like, if he owns the company that makes them. I assume not, because if he's living in that shack. Right. But, I mean, it's not like he's famous. Well, he kind of well, is, but he was... I guess he was kind of driven out of the academy by his conflict with Sokolov. Right. I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't suppose the average citizen... No. He's not famous. He's like he's kind of like probably like famous among like scientists. Not right. not in general. That's why I don't understand attaching his name to the. Uh, remedy. There he is. 
I recall I have some difficulty disposing of this guy. I really hope my neck's not that squishy. Like I know it is. But... <laughs> oh, oh no! Not nearly far enough. Sorry about that. I. <laughs> okay. I need to apologize. Now there we go. Here's where I first emerged from the boat, way back in the prologue, in that room. <laughs> 